Hi guys, it's Lim again. So today we have an iPhone 6s Plus. So this phone actually is getting a 4014. It cannot be restored. It come up with a Aero 4014 that we, people already changed the name before. And once we get the board, we will take a look. So I noticed the board is from let me see. UMT. A lot of people in my field they know UMT bot is the worst. They always get a lot of different problems. It's a inside the layer having a problem. Or maybe they will cause the CPU to be malfunction. Mm. So in this case, <coughs> we already removed the nun and we measure every resistance and we found out this line is shorted. This is the reset line which is shorted, fully shorted and the reset line is going direct to CPU. Click on it. 6S Plus. Okay. So we look at the 6S Plus. All the resistance is okay, except this one. This is the AP to none reset. The reset line is completely go to the group. Rounded. Shutter. And this is a quite common problem happening in the UMT board. So now I'm going to do a trick. I want to make a trick that will make a reset line to be working again by bringing a 1.8 power to the reset line. So ho hopefully this will work. Okay, now get, get started. First, I'm going to need a 1K resistor. I'm going to find a 1K resistor in iPhone 6. I have a lot of iPhone 6 board. So there's a 1K resistor in here. R0760. You see, if I point in it, it shows 1K. So this is the one. And I'm going to solder it on on the 1.8 first I need to take this resistor first ok there it seems I removed it before <laughs> I haven't removed this before. Okay. Now we have the 1K resistor. I'm going to put on a SD 1.8 SD RAM. So I forgot where is it, so I put it aside first. Okay, and we check the diagram, schematic diagram. iPhone 6s Plus. So let's look at 1.8 SD RAM. Okay, this is the one. Okay, so I'm gonna solder on there.
Okay. Now that we have a resistor above the 1.8 line and we will continue to jumper over to here. But this place <coughs> I think I will I think I will cover it. I will cover it with a green oil. Okay. So we're going to use an isolated jumper. Okay, so we put some flux to hold it. And don't forget about the resistor. We need to cover the resistor too. So it doesn't come off so easily. Okay, now I have the 1.8 Okay And then the next part The next part would be here, so we go ahead and do a nicer jumper. I would rotate it a bit, so I will cut this off. I don't need that long, and I will rotate it. Okay, as long we have the shape, then we will scratch it off. Put some UV. After this step, we will be need to scratch the jumper because the jumper is isolated. While I'm doing this, it's better I reboil the nan to higher bowl so that I can sit on it without a problem just to be safe we need to be careful Final, final step I would be scratch this. Okay. Now we 
going to test it. Okay, I have resistance. Main is working. But that's not yet. It's better we have to measure which is the reset line. So from here, number six, this guy. So this guy I need to cut at least into half Still need more Okay, now that much more like it So now it's low enough the board okay let's try to turn on hopefully it works Turning on. If I can enter the iOS, means the job is done. Okay, so power supply is loading. Yep. I don't have the passcode, but yeah. It is working. By bringing the 1.8, you can fool the reset line. So let's try. Okay, I wake up, no problem. So the job is done. So it's working. Perfectly fine. If you wonder, is there a side effect? No, so far I don't have any side effect by using this trick. Not every 4014, arrow 4014 is using this solution. I mean, most of the technicians that would think it is a non-problem, but not every one of them, the case is the non-problem. Some of the cases would be the CPU and the NAN between the CPU and the NAN having problem so the connection is either broken or shorted so the case that I had just now is shorted so we don't don't even think about to reinstall the CPU it is not gonna to help maybe the CPU itself the pin of the CPU itself is shorted especially in this kind of board it is UMT so most of the technician that I know the iPhone UMT board is the worst. <laughs> we always afraid UMT board. Even when we are do some little things on it, let's say the UMT board is water damage, they come in. When we find out this is a UMT board, we will quote them a higher price because they might come up uh, another problem, maybe on later. Uh, because in the warranty period, the, the client might have another issue. And in this case, the iPhone is actually been repaired before 
yeah, from another shop so they already try all the all the tricks and about the nuns and they cannot solve the problem seems like they are not proper educated <coughs> so the problem is from the reset line is shorted so how do we solve the reset line is by using the trick just now so thanks for watching i will be have more thing, interesting case to share so subscribe my channel and because i'm going to launch my online course in june